So what we need to do for this project. Uh, I'm Bob Hulling, Director of Parks, Recreation and Forestry for the city. And uh, between Dennis Allen, who will say a few words a little bit later, and myself, we were kind of the, the whole project engineers, uh, coordinators from the city. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you, not only to Trocti Building Systems, but to all the other contractors that had a hand uh, in this building. Uh, People, there's several of the contractors and others that have donated towards our project uh, to the tune of $33,000 in donations uh, for this project, uh, which enabled us to do all the accessible pathway systems that you see going all the way to the other side of diamond number one and going up to diamond number two. Uh, this park now meets all the latest uh, Americans with Disabilities Act uh, codes for accessibility. Uh, it technically met some of those, but now it meets all of those. And thanks to the donation from Tracti, it allowed us to do uh, all this upgrading uh, within our total cost of what we had anticipated it to happen. So uh, there's a lot of uh, benefit to this community besides the softball players, but it's anyone that comes out here. And so I just really appreciate that, and uh, we should all feel good about uh, that hopefully Sheehan Park is a better place to come to now. Uh, many years ago when I came to Sun Prairie in 1979, uh, one of the things that I was, uh, it struck my interest in Sun Prairie was to develop a park system. It already had 17 parks, it had Sheehan Park. When I came here, what was here was Diamond 1 and 2, the shelter up in the hill, and some old playground equipment. <clears throat> that was it. Everything was cornfield after that. The road stopped by the water tower. Uh, since I've come, we've been able to <clears throat> completely rehab this part of the park. Uh, we're in the process of replacing softball fencing, some each year, to completely refence the diamonds. Uh, the fencing's 34 years old. It's got a lot of splits in some, so over the last three or four years, we've been doing sections of the fencing at each time to complete it, hopefully in the next two years. Uh, we've replaced the bleachers, uh, we've done a, uh, replaced the lights, so the this part of the park is really now up to date and we brought it uh, full circle. This certainly it completes what we're trying to do. We had an old six-sided uh, hex building here used as a concession, maintenance, storage, uh, hideout, whatever else you want to call it. You know, donated by the JCs in 1977, it served its purpose, but when you're running concessions out of a building that's also used for maintenance, doesn't mix to a state health people have a little bit of a problem with that. This building brings us up into the modern age, has a separate concession room, this window and the window around the corner, are the concession windows. This window meets the Americans with Disabilities Act uh, for height of window and counters. It has a, our storage room for our uh, softball tractor and maintenance supplies as well as a closet for our softball supplies, it's just separate. So uh, that works as well as the restrooms, uh, what's the big thing? The closest restrooms to before were up on the shelter in the hill um, and we put a portable bathroom down here in the last couple summers but now we brought it to again accessible uh, accessibility, cleanliness, um, and just a big improvement for the park. And so we're very proud of that and uh, I think everyone will look forward to having this facility here. I do want to call out a few people to make uh, some, some comments uh, as we go through, but I'd like to make sure we recognize, uh, besides Tracti Building Systems, who is the main driving force behind this building, they donate all the materials, uh, the roof, the, the walls, the structure, the labor uh, from their company, and they'll probably allude to some things uh, a little bit later on, but uh, truly made this happen as well as all the subcontractors. Uh, a lot of people are listed here. Badger Security Integration, the family of Kurt Sheehan, uh, Sheehan Park named after Fran Kurt Sheehan uh, back in 1977. Um, Filing Concrete uh, Construction, Krebs Construction, the Force Incorporated, Madison Crushing and Excavating Company, one Plus Architecture, Quality Plus Plumbing, TNS Electric, and the Sun Prairie Park Crawl from this year donated some of their proceeds uh, towards the purchase of one of the picnic tables. 
We didn't put the picnic tables in today, uh, but basically they're accessible picnic tables in the same color as the trash can and the, the colors of the windows. Uh, everything's coordinated to fit in together. Those will be in place in the, probably another week or so. Uh, so we just appreciate everybody that's on our recognition plate, which we are really happy with how it appears and how it's going to be secured. It's going to be re-secured better, but it's here for uh, our ceremony today. So without further um, rambling on for me, I'd like to call on um, Neil to represent uh, uh, the city's interests.